Before we get into this one, smash that like button, smash that sub button for a massive away victory at West Ham. Massive three points. Let's get into the reaction. We're going to go through this chronologically so it doesn't get too confusing with the timeline, but let's get straight into it. For the start of the game, first 10, 15, 20 minutes, we were absolutely class because we actually took the game to West Ham, which we've not done in our past three meetings with them, maybe other than the one at Elland Road earlier this season. And we took the game to them and they were a bit rattled, really. I know they've played a lot of games in recent days, uh, really. They played Norwich on Wednesday and they played us at last weekend. And so they're cramming in a lot of fixtures. Having said that, we took the game to them. Mikhail Antonio didn't have a sniff today because Strauch was absolutely class all over him, all game. Um, Forshaw was very good and so was Furpo until he had to go off in the 22nd minute. And that was a little bit for me where the impetus changed and West Ham started to come back into the game more and then that was ultimately cum culminated in them scoring their goal. And off a corner, what else do you expect? Leeds versus West Ham, there's going to be at least one goal from a corner that they score against us. And it was gutting. And I didn't think that we would score again, really. I thought, that's it now. Uh, the wind will be out of our sails because usually it is against West Ham. But we came back fighting. Bate came on and Yelda came on again. And who was... Yelda was class again. Didn't make a single mistake. Bate gave the ball away a few times, but not in horrendous areas. And he wasn't that bad. But you could tell he was frustrated when he was taken off for Rodrigo. But I, I don't think you really need to take that as the same insult with any other manager. Like you would with Bielsa if that makes sense. Bielsa does it all the time. He's done it to Rodrigo. He's done it to some of the most senior players. And just because he feels like it's not working and he had to bring on bait to start with as a sort of a last resort um, because he had another injury. So after that, after that 20 minutes, the impetus, like I say, was with West Ham and they scored their goal and equalised. And then that was when we started to show a bit of fight and a bit of spirit, even though we were down again, more first team players injured we started to show a little bit more spirit and that's when Harrison got his second goal at the back post off that corner about three or four minutes after that uh, after that West Ham equaliser and that was absolutely massive for us because that boosted our confidence going into half time um, Harrison I didn't know this but had never scored a Premier League double for us before they mentioned it on the commentary but I, I couldn't believe that I thought he'd scored two in the in the wet, uh, Newcastle 5-2 game but he hadn't he'd only scored one in that game and so it was great for him to get three goals today and especially considering he's not been great this season um, and that will be a massive confidence booster once you score one you start scoring some more and hopefully he'll score again against Newcastle because it seems that he likes a goal against Newcastle but yeah, we were fantastic today. Players like Yelda, um, Furpo was very good until he went off. Like I said before, Strauch had Mikhail Antonio in his back pocket all day. Mikhail Antonio is a very strong player and I could tell at full time that Antonio went over to Strauch to have a word with him to say, look, you were really, really good today. You actually had me like covered like I couldn't do much against you. And that's a really big compliment from him because he's a big, big, strong player. Uh, and Strauch was fantastic against him. So he's going to be unreal in the future, Strauch, if we can keep hold of him. Melier with that double save towards the end, unbelievable. How unlucky were we, though, with that goal where... Click, it was cut back to Click by Rafinha after he'd absolutely sent Issa Diop for a hot dog. And then Click hits it. And it's annoying because I know it should have been ruled out because it did hit Rodrigo and he was in an offside position. And that is the letter of the law. But had Rodrigo been stood outside the post, the exact same like circumstance would have happened. It still would have gone in regardless of whether it hit him or not. Um, and nobody else would have been able to stop it because nobody was close enough. Cresswell, I think it was, covering on the line wasn't close enough. So it's very frustrating, but it, it it was offside. And I have to agree with the decision. If it was against us, I would say, yeah, you need to call that offside. I cannot believe that shot Bowen missed in the 88th minute or something. But we just switched off. We absolutely switched off. Now... When you're in a game like this and you're in the 93rd, 94th minute or wherever it is and they've got a free kick on the halfway line, Dallas wasn't even looking at the ball when it was taken and it was just knocked right down the line to Antonio. Nobody was there. 
you have to switch on. You have to stay switched on to the 90 plus five minutes to the, whenever the final whistle goes, you have to still be switched on. And that nearly, nearly cost us those three points. And we nearly only got one, which before today I would have said, yeah, I'd definitely take a, a point from West Ham away. But at that point you like, yeah, we definitely should be taking the three points here. So the fact that he missed that was massive for us, but we did also have our fair share of chances. The Rafinha free kick, how close was that? That hit the stanchion, the corner of the the corner of the where the post meets the bar, and that was so close. If that had been an inch lower, it would have just cannoned in off the crossbar. Yeah, that was absolutely unreal free kick. And then you had the one in the first half. Dan James was played through. And he had a shot, and he just hit it straight at Fabianski. And his first touch knackered him up to start with, really. But yeah, it was. Uh, we could have scored more today. They could too, but we definitely could have scored more today. Um, and. The fact that we got three points, I'm just absolutely buzzing. I'm so happy with that because that just means a little bit extra security for us. Three points extra on the board. We're 15th now. We've gone above Everton, which today, if you're watching this on the day that the, the Leeds game happened, Everton have sacked Rafa Benitez as well. So they seem to be in a bit of turmoil at the moment. I was having a look at the table then. And if we win against Newcastle, we could go as high as 10th, obviously, they have to play their games as well. Leicester and Brentford and all those teams, they obviously have to play their games as well. But it, you know, they're not all going to win, are they? So we could get up to 12th maybe with a, with another win. And, and then you feel a little bit more safe this season. You feel a, bit, a little bit more secure. And then we'll start to get some more players back. Yeah, it could be a very promising time for us if we can just beat Newcastle. And we haven't put three wins together in a row this season. And we know how notoriously hard it is to put three wins together in the Premier League. We've put two together for the first time this season. Um, the Burnley one the other week and then this one now. And I tell you what, I'd much rather we lost that FA Cup game and won this one than won the FA Cup game and lost this one because this is massive for our season. What a performance and what a victory. I there's no I've got nothing else left to say, I don't think. I'm gonna end it here for this one because there's no words on, on how happy I am for that performance. We've beaten West Ham, who are a very, very good side. Granted, they might have been a bit tired, but so are we. We've got so many injuries. Our average age of our bench was 18 years old. Rodrigo and Klaassen were the only people who weren't teenagers on the bench. Rodrigo being 30 and Klaassen being 20. And it's not exactly like Klaassen, the experienced keeper, to come on, is it? So, yeah, that is a massive victory with a depleted squad and just shows that we've got some fight left in us and we definitely are not going down this season. Mark my words. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Insert Hagrid meme here. Um, yeah, we, uh, we're we going down now, aren't we? Now I've said that. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one when it should be this midweek. I've got an interesting transfer video for you where we look at Bubakar Kamara, his wage demands, and who I think would be a great alternative. Alternative? Alternative to him. I'll see you in that one, and then after that is the Newcastle game. Like I say, massive game, needs a massive performance, another massive victory. Anything else massive? Yeah, massive three points. See you in the next one.